It has often been a matter of surprise that the city of York has had to wait so long for a university. One of the oldest and one of the most beautiful cities in England, York has had a tradition of learning that goes back to the 8th century. In fact, two abortive attempts were made to enlist government support for university in the 17th century. But after that, there were no further stirrings of academic aspiration until 1947. The man you have to think about is a man called Oliver Sheldon. His idea, the concept of the University of York, was, of course, the key element in his thinking about York. And uh, the Civic Trust embraced that thinking and they ran with the idea from 1946 till 1957. The, uh, the chairman of the University Grants Committee uh, visited uh, the chairman of the York Academic Trust and they um, stood uh, at the uh, uh, Bleachfield site on the uh, proposed site of the university and Sir Keith Murray is reported to have said what a wonderful site and from then on um, it wasn't far uh, until in the, at the end of 1959 uh, we received word that York would have a university. In October 1963, the University of York was finally ready to welcome its first body of students onto the steps of Heslington Hall. We were starting to collect the book stock in Micklegate House, ready for the imminent move up to Heslington Hall. And we moved up to Heslington Hall, the right-hand side of the building, which was to be the library headquarters for that time. And uh, that was in October, sort of. Uh, the new students were coming in October. 1963 so we had you know a short period of time to get the library ready really and it was very exciting knowing that they were going to be coming shortly. I remember being asked at that first interview um, you know obviously they ask why have you chosen York and this sort of thing but um, I was asked would I have chosen it had it been in Wigan <laughs> as we were looking out across the rather nice roofs and walls of King's Manor and you know the historic connections and so on and um, I probably wouldn't have chosen it if it had been Wigan I must be honest <laughs> in the negative sense we might have thought you'd been a bit little bit nervous about how things were going to go but it was clear that they had appointed some very good people and the courses were sufficiently interesting for, for me and for enough of us to to make that first cohort, yeah. I'm quite, I'm quite proud of, you know, to be able to say, well, I, the, my degree is the University of York. Um, even though it was all tr untried and untested at the time, as I suppose, it, it, to some extent, it was a bit of a risk, uh, but uh, it was worth it, really. <laughs>